So, ha so for how long have you been growing rice in New Zealand then? Oh, well, quite a while ago I started. Yeah. But me, uh, at that time I commuted both countries. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I couldn't uh, do good care. Yeah. But 1995 uh, or something, well, I don't remember that. I have to see the record. Mm. I saw somewhere after that uh, uh, mound. Yeah. There was an, uh, water running from that pond, that's uh, our neighbor's one. Yeah. And so that could be a good stream full of water, but no nutrients. Right. And as a result, the top were empty. Oh, but mm. so, so it grew the stems, but no, 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 nothing no, in, in nothing, the, no rice. Right. No and fruit. also, the hill over mm. there shaded. So um, that means, uh, you know, no, they, sun. Mm, and uh, for rice growing, the sun is very important. Mm. So as you see, this is exposing to the sun. Yeah. Yeah. But it gave you enough confidence to think, okay. Uh, yeah, well, uh, slowly, <laughs> slowly, uh, I changed uh, the seas from our area one, that is I mean, in the middle of the mainland, uh, to Hokkaido one, which yeah. has a very cool summer. So that looks like uh, fitting to this uh, uh, weather, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean climate. Yeah. And uh, so what I'm doing is uh, just like that, I leave all the roots as they are. Yeah, yeah. No, no, later a little bit, I chop uh, the, uh, all uh, the roots uh, uh, away. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, at least half of it, I chop it off because they are spreading at the root. So they can't uh, get enough uh, uh, nutrients and also the number of stalks are very big that means uh, they have to share the nutrients yeah, yeah. so the stem, stem is so thin and tops are very poor right so that's not the way yeah, so, so i want... chop off uh, the uh, big uh, roots uh, uh, at least half away that's a hard work too mm. so, so half of these you'll take out yeah yeah and uh, you separate, you basically divide them. Yeah, sort of, sort of. And uh, actually, uh, very first stage, I transplanted from this seedling corner some seeds, uh, I mean uh, seedlings, mm. to equally distanced, 30 centimeters apart. Yeah. So it's a really distorted uh, mean time, but trying to give it back to an uh, equal distance. So, uh, well, uh, I don't have any sort of uh, firm opinion how to do for well, that, them. That felt right. Mm. It's still on the process of experiments. Mm. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see such a uh, uh, green one uh, yeah. surrounding yes. this uh, corner. Yes. That's a newly transplanted, uh, yeah, last spring. It's uh, just for comparison, there are two roots. Uh, ah, 20, okay. 20 roots. Yes. And then how much uh, uh, harvest I can have uh, if I transplant uh, seedlings. Mm -hmm. And then uh, such a uh, perennial uh, character use uh, is uh, uh, efficient or not, I want to find out. But here, Kaiwaka has such a uh, nice uh, mild good, temperature. Good temperature. Yeah, o over, the, over winter. But there in winter in Japan, oh, it's very severe. Mm. So um, they die, I think, because of the coldness. Right, and so they don't usually aren't perennial no. for that reason? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. I, I think so, I yeah, think so. Yeah. But now I got, uh, uh, now a couple from Taiwan, they came over to Kaiwaka, they are living uh, uh, over there. And uh, their winter must be quite mild. Mm. So I asked them, how do you do about uh, using a perennialty? And uh, they said, we wouldn't. It's oh. not that efficient. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's interesting. It is, it is. And uh, on so the that other day... that means it's very labor intensive, is what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> so which, which is a better way? This I don't know. But uh, definitely, say, we Asians, uh, being survived, uh, uh, having such a nice food. Mm. And uh, how it happened, uh, uh, this is just my guess, you know, all around in the field. 
So perennially, you know, brought up uh, the new grains every year, mm -hmm. or uh, at any time, you may say. So uh, that uh, is my guess. So um, perhaps you have to do a section where you let it go to seed in the field. Oh, with this I don't know. Still, I want to challenge yeah. because uh, three lines somewhere, somewhere there, they had already seven years. Oh, and oh so you've been fine. Yeah, and then uh, still uh, alive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But now, next question is, uh, 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 would they give me sort of a comparatively nice harvest uh, mm. compared mm. with the fresh uh, yeah. uh, sea, uh, the rice? Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, some of them said, uh, well, uh, even a perennial plant uh, has uh, a life of uh, seven years. Mm. But uh, another challenge for me. <laughs> if you leave it there, maybe they die after seven years. Yeah. But uh, if I care, say, get rid of half of it or even more, yes. expecting a fresh, uh, fresh shoot, shoots, shoots coming yeah. out. Yeah. Why not? Mm. <laughs> Why not? Very experimental. Mm. And now this is the, uh, the protection against the rats. Oh, right. I so have that, to do a lot so that's of the that. main that's the main problem is it is, and birds do a birds an issue yeah, that's yeah, for the right. birds yes yeah. yes and uh, well uh, there in Japan they never do this and mm. that because the mm. uh, birds they only sparrows they have to take care yeah because uh, and then they come really but uh, when uh, rice is r ripen now at the rim uh, they bow outwards, so sparrows would eat it, but they can't fly in between if uh, tops are bowing. Right. So uh, the farmers uh, sacrifice uh, yeah. the rim, you know. But now here in New Zealand, you have pukekos. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I did uh, quite a temporary and bird netting with the sort of a rubbish st stock sticks like that. Yes. And it was not uh, tightly uh, netted. Mm. Now uh, the sparrows came uh, with in, in a group, say 20 to 30. Yeah. So that, that it sank down, <laughs> sank down, and then, Smart, uh, yeah. But now Pukeko can do it just by one, <laughs> and they eat so fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'd be very happy. Yeah. love it. So, uh, not that easy to live in nature mm. in New Zealand. No. <laughs> A lot of um, enemies. Competition, <laughs> Competition yeah. I should say. Yeah, I have to correct the word. <laughs> <laughs>